Now, welcome back to the Daily Report. This is the marketplace. Of the 1,000 community water pans set to be functional within the country in the next five years, at least 20% will be located in high rainfall areas to facilitate water harvesting. Questions have been raised on the validity of such initiatives in the grand scheme of ensuring adequate food availability in the country and self-sufficiency. Well, we went to seven such water harvesting pans in Yamira County, the heart of horticulture, to see the use of these projects and bring you the following report. Amid the lush green terrain of this county lays the still form of one of seven community pans. The still waters in these man-made reservoirs are a lifeline to many homes down and up these slopes. Green harvesting for high-value crops such as avocados and tea is a slow but steady practice that is taking over in this area. Irrigation was supposed to provide water, especially in Nyamira during the dry season. You can see at this moment here, we have not had rain for some time. So if you can be able to get water at this particular time and apply to our crops, then you can be able to sustain a crop. So for this, region, for, for this particular project, our component was supposed to be the excavation of the water pan so that you can be able to store water. Then from there, we construct a water trough a cattle trough whereby the animals are supposed to drink water from and then a drawing point for the farmers. And then we also gave a provision for future expansion so that if the farmers want to extend this project, now they can be able to connect from there and take farmer water to the other regions. However, last mile connectivity is still a problem to the farmers of this region, a problem that they found a solution for through water reticulation. Mali iko high place hata kwa ile ki kuna mlima huko alafu iwe pumped iende kwa na na gravity ifike kwa mashamba ili tufanyie irrigation since the government embarked on the 100 major dams project and the 1,000 small dams rehabilitation project, communities have been coming together, making the National Irrigation Authority adjust the water storage goal to at least 118 million cubic meters of water, storage efforts that will touch on high rainfall areas as well. The farmers here say they can double production in the fertile lands for short-term and even long-term crops, boosting yields that earn them a living. For the most part, community effort takes the forefront, where people gather to make dreams possible when making sufficient use of this liquid gold. Hibak Said for TV47. All right, a story straight from Nyamira County, an area that has high rainfall in comparison to some other areas, knowing Kenya is largely arid and semi-arid. With me in studio tonight, I have engineer